so let's continue we have um, another two examples for this video and we solve for the derivative of the following functions so for number four we have here um, y of t so that means class that is a function of t so as you can see all the variables are um, in terms of t okay so for number four we have y t so una class ang gagawin nyo dito is evaluate nung nakita mo yan ako na ulaw ka manin okay but ang naisip mo I'm going to apply quotient rule here pero pwede mo namang gawin ito class is that Pwede mo munang i-simplify ang given bago mo kunin yung derivative niya. You simplify first the given before getting its derivative. So, di ba class, ang example sana, x plus y plus z all over um, m. That can be written as x all over m plus y all over m plus z all over m. Di ba? Pwede isulat that way. Okay? So, yun yung gagawin ninyo dyan sa given natin. O sige, i-maintain ko na lang yan na isulat. So, gawin natin is, yung simplify natin si y of t ninyo, um, i-divide natin lahat by t cube. So, t to the fourth, okay, t to the fourth, divided by t cube, minus 2t squared, 2t squared, all over t cube, Okay, plus 7t divided by t cubed. Then you simplify t to the fourth all over t cubed, magiging t na lang siya, minus 2t cubed, ay 2t squared divided by t cubed, so magiging 2 all over t, plus 7t over t cubed is t squared. 7 over t squared. Kasi makansal yung t na isa sa taas, may maiwan na dalawa sa Baba. Tama ba? T minus um, 2 all over T kasi makansal yung 2 na T. Okay. So, ang naiwan class is we have T minus 2T, uh, 2 over T plus 7 all over T squared. Okay? And then, oh, is, um, kunin mo na yung derivative isa-isa. Ano ang, uh, we have T oh, minus 2, gawin ko siyang 2 raised to negative 1. Parehas lang yung class, diba? I-apply ko ba maya dito ang power rule plus 7t raised to negative 2 para may apply ko rin ang power rule. Tama? Okay. So, ayan na. Nasimplify na. Hindi pa yung derivative niya ha. Kukunin mo pa lang yung derivative niya. Derivative ni t, 1 minus, okay, meron kang multiplier na 2, then apply power rule, baba. So, baba sa exponent which is negative 1. Copy the base, your letter t, Okay, minus 1. So, minus 1. So, negative 1 minus 1. Derivative ni t, that is 1. Plus, another multiplier, 7. So, times, baba, which is negative 2. Copy the base. Negative 2 minus 1, that is negative 3. Simplifying further, okay? We simplify further. That is equal to 1 minus 2 times negative um. 2, that is positive 2 pala. Okay, 2, t, negative 1 and negative 1, that is negative 2. Negative, uh, positive 7 times negative 2, that is negative 14. Okay? Times t raised to negative 3. And then, we simplify further, that is 1 plus, ibaba ko si t raised to negative 2 para maging positive. So, 2, t squared minus 14 over t cube. Okay? So, that is the first derivative of your y of t. Ha? Hope so. Then here, we have number 5. And in, okay, the given in number 5 is um, cube root of 2x minus 7. Okay? y is equal to Two x minus seven. So you simplify first the given. Para tapos puntahan mo kung saan ka mapapadalian. You can apply here again power rule, di ba? So that can be rewritten as two x minus seven raised to one third. And then that is power rule na, ma? So baba copy the base two x minus seven minus one. So one third minus one 
times the derivative of the base. So, 2x minus 7. So, anong derivative ni 2x minus 7? That is 2. Okay? So, that becomes 1 third times 2x um, minus 7. 1 third minus 1. That is negative 2 thirds. Tama? Um, times 2. So, it becomes 1 third times 2. That is 2 thirds times 2x minus 7 raised to negative 2 thirds. Ayusin natin to. Ibaba natin. Pero natin positive si negative 2 thirds. So, ibababa natin siya. So, 2 all over 3 times 2x minus 7 raised to or all over 3 the of x minus 7. Okay? Number 6 the next video.